What's up, guys? This is Kyle over here at The Horror File, coming back again. Um, I am actually doing a review for a movie I watched recently today. I had to do a review for this movie because uh, I'm really, I really do enjoy the, the franchise of this movie. Uh, this movie is called uh, I Spent on Your Grave 3, Vengeance is Mine. This is the third film in the uh, remake franchise of I Spent on Your Grave. Um, so, uh, I Spent in Your Grave came out in the 70s. It was a video nasty, uh, exploitation film about a rape revenge story about a girl goes into the woods to go to this cabin and spend the night, uh, gets raped, uh, by a group of men and goes on a revenge killing spree. Um, this franchise, uh, actually, uh, starring Sarah Butler, Sarah Butler wasn't in the second one, but she is in this one, this third one. Uh, this franchise is one, two, three. Uh, they have, uh, they actually came out within the last five, six years, and I really enjoyed these movies. Um, I, I, I did, I normally don't enjoy remakes or, you know, I, I enjoy some remakes. Uh, I normally don't, wouldn't enjoy a remake franchise or like a remake where they would make three of, you know, out of, you know, a remake. So they made a remake, which was I Spit on Your Grave, uh, starring Sarah Butler. Then they made a second I Spit on Your Grave, uh, you know, version, you know, in the remake trilogy. And now they have a third one called Vengeance is Mine. Um, out of the, the first two, I enjoyed the second one more. I, I enjoyed the plot of the second one more. I, I didn't enjoy the first one as well. Uh, but I really enjoyed this one as well. And I ca I'll kind of get into it and kind of explain it. It has a really, really cool premise. Uh, like I said, it's starring Sarah Butler. It came out this year, 2015. Um, and uh, it basically uh, picks up um, where, you know, at the end of one, where Sarah Butler, she's kind of trying to live a normal life. Uh, she's going to this rape, uh, or starts going to this rape, uh, you know, um, kind of help group, uh, kind of like a, you know, drunken help group. Like if you drink a lot, you go to help groups to kind of try to lay off drinking. This is for rape, for rape, uh, rape victims. Uh, and there's, you know, probably about 10, 12 people there. They got a counselor there talking to them. They tell their stories. Uh, she starts going there. She makes a friend. Uh, she comes across this other girl uh, who becomes her friend. And they kind of uh, collaborate. And they just become really, really good friends. They go out and do things. They go out and drink. They go out and hang out. Um, they end up telling each other their stories. She tells her about, you know, how she was raped by these four or five guys. Uh, one being a police officer in the first movie. Uh, the other girl was actually raped by her ex-boyfriend. Um, you know, she was beat and raped. Um, and it's typical, like with, with a lot of these rape revenge stories, I, I enjoy rape revenge stories. I hate the, the thought of rape period. Like, obviously I don't like, I don't condone rape, but you know, these are the movies, these are fantasy. I think it's really cool when something really bad happens to somebody and then they get revenge on them. Like the Kill Bill series. I love the Kill Bill, uh, Kill Bill series. I love Quentin Tarantino's, you know, kind of look on uh, revenge stories. I just think like the bride was an awesome, uh, you know, protagonist and, and these as well. Sarah Butler plays a really awesome protagonist. I mean, she got raped by five guys in the first movie, which is pretty messed up to think about. And she got hella revenge in the first movie, which was awesome for her. And she actually survived. Well, in this movie, she uh, becomes friends with this girl, and uh, the girl ends up needing to go get some of her stuff from her ex-boyfriend's house, the one that actually raped her. And she, she's this girl's a badass. Like this girl uh, that that Sarah Butler becomes friends with, she's a complete badass. She doesn't give a fuck about nothing. There's actually a person, like a girl, in the rape group, the, like the little their little group that they're talking about. Uh, she's a young girl. Her, her stepfather is actually raping her. Uh, this girl that Sarah Butler became friends with actually goes out and kind of stalks uh, this girl or goes out and stalks this, uh, this stepdad that's raping this girl and they, they're wearing masks. Her and Sarah Butler are together and Sarah Butler has no idea what's going on. They're wearing like, uh, like ski masks. And she takes out a crowbar and starts beating the guy. She, and she's like, you know, hey, you ever touch her again, you're going to see us again. You're not going to want to see us again. And the guy kind of gets scared. But you learn later on in the movie that he continues to do it and some stuff happens to him. Well, pretty much the premise of this, and the reason I said this is a really awesome premise, uh, I actually talked to some of my buddies in my horror group about this and they thought it was a cool premise too, is Sarah Butler uh, ends up starting to get revenge on a lot of the, the rape victims in this group. Like they, they get, she gets revenge on the people that are doing this to them. Um, because obviously in the group, when you're in like one of these, one of these um, groups where you have to tell your, your problems to, 
you find out a lot about the person that you wouldn't normally find out about them because a lot of these people are introverts. They don't want to talk about this stuff, but they feel comfortable in this group. And Sarah Butler, Butler finds a lot about these people, and she goes out and she seeks revenge for these people. Um, something really bad happens to the uh, friend of hers as well, which she seeks revenge on the, the person that did that to, to her as well, or to her friend as well. Uh, but pretty much the movie is based around that premise. And I really personally find that to be a really awesome premise. Like, that's a perfect premise for a third movie in a franchise. Like, that's so different than, like, most third movies. Like, it's not the same, you know, obviously she's getting revenge for these people now. She's not getting the, re she's getting the revenge for these people and for herself. Like, she was still victimized. She still, you know, she did get revenge for herself, but she's helping these people out. And I just found that to be really awesome. Um... I, I there was a lot of there's a really cool gore factor there's really cool kills in this movie kill counts high in this movie gore factor is pretty and gore and blood factor is pretty high in this movie really cool kill scenes um, really good dialogue the acting's very well it's very well filmed it's it's like the other two very well filmed um, if I was to rate this movie I would probably rate this movie. Uh, solid, I give this movie a solid 8 out of 10. I mean, it's not the best in the, in the three that were, you know, the best in the, in the franchise, but it is up there. Um, I, if I was to rate all three of the movies, I would say the second one was the best one, the third one was the second best, and the first one was, was the, the third best. Um, which is weird to say that the first one was the third best. I, I, I like the first one, but it was just, a, it was just a complete like straight copy of the original, which I love the original, uh, but it didn't really have any new concepts to it. I, I like the second one because there's a whole new concept to it. And the third one had an awesome theme to it. Um, all three of the, this whole franchise, if I was to rate the franchise itself, I would give the franchise an eight out of 10 uh, for the remake franchise. This is the only, only remake on a franchise. I'm, I don't really, you don't really see many uh, remakes that have three movies that, that come after them. Uh, this is one of the only ones I've really, really enjoyed. I've, I, I know a lot of people that have enjoyed this, the, uh, you know, all three of these movies. Um, highly recommend checking it out. Pick it up. Uh, you know, definitely pick up the Blu-ray if you can. Uh, I'm sh I, I believe the Blu-ray actually came out last Tuesday. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the movie. I would love to hear some suggestions of, you know, or some things of what people thought were awesome about the movie. Maybe some things I missed in the review, but there was so much stuff going on in this movie. It was really awesome. A uh, really cool thing at the end that happened, you know, kind of foreshadows before the end things that happen at the end um but let me know what you think uh, like this video um and definitely go check it out i spit on gear if the revenge is mine uh sub my channel uh check out body bags it's another channel i do uh it's seven day a week horror reviews uh over uh you know i'll, I'll leave the, the link in the description uh you can go to youtube type in body bags it's one of the first uh channels that come up check them out sub uh, subscribe to them till next time deuces see you guys later